Hello friends, this video on crop production and management part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have discussed about manure, it's time to talk about fertilizers. So we already got an introduction to fertilizers. So fertilizers are also like manures which are going to enrich the soil with a lot of nutrients. So what are fertilizers? These are commercially produced plant nutrients. Now the only difference is that manures they are produced uh, in fields from waste plant and animal products whereas fertilizers are produced in factories on a commercial scale and these are they are they basically contain chemicals so they are not produced from plant and animal wastes. So they result in higher yield and healthy plants because these fertilizers are very very rich in plant nutrients. So if you compare manures and fertilizers, you will find that fertilizers are more rich in plant nutrients. So if you have a particular field where you have given manure and if you have another field where you have given fertilizer, so you will see that the yield or the productivity in the second field is more because fertilizers are more rich in plant nutrients. So that means nutrient wise fertilizers are better source than manure but there are quite a few disadvantages also associated with the fertilizers. So here on in this picture you can actually look at the two sections of the field section 1 and section 2. So what do you see section 1 is all barren you do not have greenery at all whereas section 2 you have a lot of green plants coming up. So this is the one, the first half is the one which is starved by lack of plant food. That is no fertilizer has been applied here. So if no fertilizer is applied, in that case this is how it looks like. This is how the plant growth is here. But in this case it is nourished on phosphate and lime. So these are nothing but fertilizers. So when you apply fertilizers, they directly provide plant nutrients to the soil. So the productivity is better. Plants grow in a better way. We get healthy plants, we get higher yields. So that is, that is why we have fertilizers. Now some of the advantages of fertilizers are it provides nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium to the soil and that too in high content. So a large amount of nutrients are provided to the soil. It results in higher yields if given in proper dose. Now this is very important when we deal with fertilizers. Now the dose needs to be taken care of. Proper dose will give higher yield. So all advantages in proper dose. But as soon as you start applying fertilizers in excess, it is not going to be useful to you. That's because in that case, it can have many adverse effects. So we will talk about its disadvantages in the next slide. So looking at the advantages, you might feel very happy that wow, fertilizer turns out to be even better than manure. But when you look at the disadvantages, you get to know that overall it is better to use manure because there are so many things like fertilizers can cause water pollution if followed by excessive irrigation. What is irrigation? Irrigation is nothing but applying water to the fields. That is called irrigation. Now let us suppose you applied fertilizers because fertilizers are commercially produced. Basically they are nothing but chemicals which are rich in the plant nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, etc. So what happens is you applied fertilizers to the field or to the plants immediately after that if you water the plants or if you water the field or let us suppose you applied fertilizers and immediately after that there is a heavy rainfall so what happens the water washes away the fertilizer along with it and where will the water go so the water go and dispose of in the nearby water body maybe in the nearby pond or the nearby river so as a result all these chemicals they actually reach the nearby water body they reach the river or the pond and these chemicals which are present in the fertilizer they are all harmful chemicals like in case of manure it was all non-toxic because it was all made up of organic matter plant and animal waste so it was non-toxic but in this case they are toxic they contain toxic chemicals so if they reach a water body they can pollute the entire water of that pond or river so that means it can cause water pollution Excessive use can spoil soil fertility. Now that's why in the previous slide I told you that fertilizers 
are useful as long as it is applied in proper dose. So if it is given in more amount, in that case what happens, instead of improving the soil fertility, it tends to spoil the soil fertility. How? That's because it contains, as I said, it is not that it is non-toxic, it is toxic. It contains many toxic chemicals as well. So when too much of toxic chemicals get into the soil, inside the soil also we have uh, an entire ecosystem or we have a lot of different organisms present inside the soil. For example, there are so many microorganisms, earthworms, so many other organisms are there. So if too much of poisonous chemicals are present within the soil, it can harm those microorganisms. And we know that these microorganisms help a lot in the process of decomposition. And that is how these organisms act as farmers' friends by improving the quality of the soil. So if these organisms are harmed, so in a way, basically the soil fertility is harmed. So if fertilizers are followed by irrigation or rain fall it can cause water pollution if it is used in excessive amount it can spoil the soil fertility so that is these advantages associated with fertilizers were not there in case of manures so manures had only advantages but in uh, if you compare manures and fertilizers in case of fertilizers they provide more nutrients when compared to manures so now you will understand that, okay, so that's bad because fertilizers have these advantages as well. So overall, if we look at it, even though manure will give a little lesser productivity than fertilizer, but at least it is not going to harm our environment. So that means we can make a judicious use of manure or fertilizers as and when needed. So that is why these days we often follow a new type of farming called organic farming. So what is organic farming? It is a farming with no or minimum use of chemicals because it has been observed that chemicals are actually harming a lot. Now, it is not only water pollution or soil pollution which is caused by the chemicals. Now, sometimes it also happens that ap applying too many chemicals for the plant growth often leads to the presence of some toxic substance even inside the fruit or the vegetable which we eat. Now, when we eat that fruit or vegetable, it enters even inside our body. So, that means the... Uh, advantages of that fruit or vegetable also reduces due to the presence of chemicals. Therefore, farming is practiced with minimum use of chemicals and this, is, this type of farming is called organic farming. Here, maximum use of manures. So, manures are used to the maximum extent because they do not have any adverse effects to the environment. Healthy cropping patterns, it is ensured that crops are being planted in a proper way. For example, uh, it, a particular stretch of land should not be growing be growing crops over and again because if too much of uh, crop cultivation takes place in the same uh, land continuously, in that case sometimes the soil becomes deprived of nutrients because all the nutrients get completely used up by the crops. So healthy cropping pattern should be utilized. For example, first you crop something which utilize more nitrogen. Maybe next time you can crop some other plant which utilize less nitrogen but more phosphorus. So that means healthy cropping pattern should be adopted. Now we will discuss more in, about, in detail about healthy cropping patterns in our higher classes. So for now you should just know that okay there is this concept of organic farming where we use minimum chemicals. In fact sometimes we do not try to use any chemicals at all for organic farming. So in this case whatever fruits or vegetables come out of this farming that is like free of insecticides or pesticides or any sort of chemicals. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.